for me, there wasn't a ton of opportunities to play growing up. I had to pretend I was a boy in order to access the opportunity to play. Cut all my hair off, called myself Fred, was able to disguise myself as a boy so I could play in the, the football team. We're getting to see now the fruits of the labour and the investment that's gone into some of the women's mentoring schemes. I think we're now catching up as more and more females have been exposed and have got a history in the game. I'm Freya and I'm the head coach for Angel City Football Club in Los Angeles. Coaching actually wasn't always my first choice as a career. When I finished university, I wanted to be a sports psychologist, but realised that my passion was still really in the day-to-day -day involvement with players in, in the team environment. I think we're seeing a, a dramatic change in the, the salaries that women can get now as, as head coaches within the league, and, and not just women, but men too. Starting out for myself, I was paid pretty poorly, but for me, I, I took it and went with it because it was an opportunity to get my foot in the door. Working in this league as a head coach, I think most coaches would be earning six-figure salaries, um, but the amount that they earn is going to vary dramatically club to club and also depending on their track record of success. It's not all glamorous, it's, it's pretty much a grind when you start. There's a lot of long hours, a lot of antisocial hours, a lot of working with multiple teams to make ends meet. So it's definitely not a career for the money, it's a career for the passion. I think coaching with Angel City, the thing I love the most is the relationship with the players and also the difference that we can make in the community. I love to be knowing that we can be doing something and raising the quality of the game, not only inspiring players and coaches within the community, but also trying to make a difference on the global scale. There's always going to be challenges when I'm working as a professional coach in the league. A big part of that was just how women are perceived within the roles. You know, you may have a male member of staff on the sideline with you, but you know, a lot of people would come up and, and shake the hand of that male member of staff thinking they're the head coach when actually it was you in that position. But now I think there's enough examples of where women are leading the way and doing a fantastic job. Everyone that works at the club is very passionate about the promotion of the women's game, making sure that we are fighting for equality both on and off the field. What I love about our league is the players will spend time with the fans, giving autographs, taking pictures with the fans, and it's really a great connection that you can have within this league that I don't think exists in, in many leagues around the world. We're all here united in wanting to win, so I love being part of the club. We're very much like-minded people that are always looking to transform the game and leave it in a better place. Typical game day is arrival at the stadium and we've done all our preparation, we've given the players our game plans. As the crowd starts to fill in the stadium and the players are warming up, the sense of excitement starts to grow and there's such a buzz with the great number of fans that we have in the stands. And then when kickoff comes, it's like a battle. Sometimes it can be pretty stressful and a big part of my job is to try and remain pretty calm and, and relaxed throughout, to not experience the highs and lows outwardly with the team. I think for all women that are looking at being a professional coach, my advice would be to persevere. It's not easy in terms of getting those opportunities and at times, you know, you're going to come into environments and, and not feel entirely comfortable or confident, but just recognising that you just got to keep going through it.